autumn is coming but I went for probably my last summer like ride while it's still sunny and the sky is blue a bit clouded by still but still blue I have fixed my bicycle the rim was replaced a few spokes were replaced as well I have also replaced the pedals because the old ones were uh, squeaking and uh, yeah I did not like them anymore uh, in total I went more than four and a half thousand kilometers on this bicycle it's Trek Marlin 6 so I thought it might be a good time to make some improvements and replacements uh, because for this season, in the beginning of the season, I was replacing just the hubs, the rear and front hubs. For the next season, I'm considering to replace the braking system entirely and probably a fork. So these are just the plans. I will see how it goes and if I will if I will still see uh, it as a necessary actions for for the new season. Yeah, other than that, well, summer is coming to an end. Actually, summer has ended. It is surprisingly great weather out here in um, Latvia. So I'm enjoying it, but most of the time I'm busy with uh, working on fixing my uh, apartments. The weather is surprisingly good here in Latvia, despite it's the second half of the September. The weather is great here in Latvia, despite it's the second part of September. I'm mostly busy with renovations in the apartments, but I found some time today to have a ride to say goodbye to all the cool places I enjoyed visiting during the summer and I thought it's a great occasion to record another video and and uh, continue the story how it went with the ride I had previously so my wife picked me up and basically the very next day I went to the shop bought just the rim uh, find, found a guy who is available actually a ASAP and who is kind of willing to repair my wheel I've been uh, busy those days with some family matters and yeah I replaced derailleur I replaced pedals and that's it um, I'm riding I'm riding further all good the ride, the ride was great. I'm definitely planning to get there once again. It was the initial plan to go to follow the road from the different sites and overall to 
and ride the entire road, but just in, in ports. Yeah, uh, but this uh, will stay for the next year as a plan. I should start moving, but I stopped here at this place uh, where I recorded my video about being a broken developer, broken in sense of personal, not in financial, at least not yet. I'm still fighting and grinding and, and looking for a way to uh, make a living out of my interests, out of my curiosity. But I definitely became better with communicating with myself and communicate my thoughts to the outer world. And tweeting or posting on X helped me a lot with that. And I thought it, it is cool to stop here in this, uh, exactly this place with uh, three months later with completely different thoughts and completely different view. There are still some traits in my say, psychology, in my perception that I'm not happy about, like for example with these gloves, right? I bought them last week and I'm kind of a bit sad that they are actually, these are actually destroyed, right? These are broken, there are, there are a lot and, uh, and holes there, so I will not use them anymore, but I like them. I'm, and enjoying this color and yeah but uh, it's hard to say goodbye for me uh, but the good thing is uh, I know that that this is my problem and yeah by the way I think it's a good reason to return to my article that's behind me my favorite place here it's uh, cool and cozy it's a bit off the road and there are two big trees there is one there uh, that allows you to hide when it's hot from the sun even the sun is higher so in june and july it still allows to hide you in the shadow and there is another cozy tree right here so it's like it's like a roof I don't know it, it makes this place really cozy and cool for me and yeah I've been I've been here from time to time just to sit and observe the nature and chill and relax I would say that way and that's that's something that is really necessary uh, this is what I learned past years yeah other than that um, I'm moving because I'm getting tired with the schedule and yeah what I wanted to say is that uh, now again I realized it's, it's actually interesting how it happens because even I fall uh, just a while ago I'm kind of not feeling bad about that. It's like a part of the ride. I, it was a bit disappointing last year. And this year, I like, and okay. I checked myself, head, uh, legs, hands. And I checked the bicycle. Bicycle was fine. So I rechecked myself. Everything was fine. Apple Watch triggered the kind of SOS, am I good, have I failed, etc, etc, I'm good, I'm feeling fine, so yeah, no worries, but this thread with the loves made me to understand it, or pay an attention, that I'm still getting too tired to some things or some aspects of my life. I have an article uh, about that. It's in draft for a while. It was more about saying goodbye to people, but now I'm thinking that it's just the you know, thread of my personality, and this is something to be improved. So, yeah, 
stay tuned and read what I'm thinking about that. The tree over there has no, no leaves anymore, so it means the autumn is here. And it also makes me a bit sad, despite the fact I actually enjoy winter holidays and the snow and all the stuff. It's fun and cool and chill, especially chilly mornings. But yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking it's not a good thing to become sad of, because of natural things like... <coughs> Like season, like season changing. Seasons are changing. I can do nothing about that. I bet you too. Why to be sad about that? Why to reflect about that? That's the way it works. That's the only way it works, right? So why ever I'm thinking about this? And uh, with such a simple questions, I learned to drag myself out from the from thinking about the things that I cannot I cannot change and this is the way how I'm catching myself on thinking about actually useless things I mean what's the point of thinking about that if I'm not going to I don't know write a poem or, or something uh, when, um, well, it's, it just happens that way, nothing I can do about that. If I want to have a clear sky uh, and the sunny days all around the year, I should probably just move somewhere else, but there will be other problems. And that's actually the problem, because when there are such threats and in our personality, it's hard to satisfy us. Where we tend to always be unhappy. And this is why it's a bit toxic, I would say. And this is what I'm working towards getting rid of in, in my personality, in my life. So, yeah, I think that the change itself is a great event to trigger some sum-ups and the sum-up is the summer was great i have built and released my first application it has even monetization i got a couple of uh, tasks in front of me how to improve it further because i've been using it for for a while I understood what am I missing there and um, yeah I've been writing I've been building I've been doing a lot I've been helping my family when it was necessary so I've done all I could I think so at least all what I wanted to do because I haven't done because what I have not done is probably something that I was not truly wishing to do. Okay, that's the end of the philosophical corner. And probably the end of the outside the office videos. But there is still a collection of pictures that I'm gathering and sharing on my telegram outside the office channel thank you for watching this stay warm stay cozy and see you